The Ice Age took the lives of many animals – saber-toothed cats, mastodons, most mammoths, and so on. But there is one animal that survived the Ice Age, and not only. This is the musk ox, the titan of the Arctic and a very resilient creature. Today's episode is about this unique creature that will surprise you. Let's go! Musk Ox The musk ox is the only modern representative of the bovid family. They are large, stocky mammals with a large head and short neck, covered with very thick fur. Musk oxen have sharp, rounded horns with a massive base on their foreheads, which they use to protect themselves from predators. Musk oxen themselves are herbivores. They have long and thick fur that hangs almost to the ground. It consists of long, coarse, covering hair and a thick, soft undercoat, which is eight times warmer than sheep's wool. It's so warm that it's used to insulate spacesuits for spacewalks. If the musk ox did not have such warm wool, it would definitely not have made it to our times. Even in ancient times, the ancestral habitat of musk oxen was not pleasant. They lived in the cold highlands of Central Asia. When it became even colder three and a half million years ago, the ancestors of musk oxen descended from the Himalayas and spread across Siberia and the rest of northern Eurasia. During the penultimate glacial period, musk oxen entered North America via the Bering Isthmus and also spread into Greenland. Survival Despite the difficulties, musk oxen continued to exist successfully. Although it was not always easy, it was especially difficult for them during the late Pleistocene several tens of thousands of years ago. Firstly, the climate was changing, and secondly, at that time, there were already primitive people who began to hunt these creatures. But even that didn't break musk oxen. They adapted to the new conditions and also survived the late Pleistocene extinction. It was during this period, which coincided with the Ice Age, quite a few of the animals I talked about in the beginning disappeared. But musk oxen were not affected. These powerful creatures were among the few ungulate animals that survived the extinction of the Ice Age. Reindeer and bisons were also among the lucky ones. Musk oxen outlived many animals, including mammoths, with which they lived side by side for a long period of time. Discovering and Description Let's move closer to our time. The musk ox was first discovered for Europeans by Henry Kelsey, an Englishman working for the Hudson Bay Company. It happened in 1689. Later, scientists began to study musk ox gradually, but could not and still cannot define its exact systematic position. Some scientists attributed musk oxen to the bovini subfamily, others attributed musk oxen to the caproni subfamily, which also includes goats and mountain sheep. The musk ox has features and parameters common to both the bulls and the sheep. However, the musk ox is not a hybrid. By the way, the name of this tenacious animal comes from the fact that the meat of males, and sometimes females, can strongly recall musk. As for males and females, the differences between them are substantial. On average, a musk ox reaches a height of 130 to 150 centimeters, 260 centimeters in length, and weighs about 350 kilograms. At the same time, in captivity, males can fatten up to 650 kilograms. Females are about 50 to 60 percent smaller than males in terms of weight. Present Time The modern range of musk oxen is not very large, but it nevertheless covers quite a few countries. Musk oxen inhabit areas of North America. Many musk oxen live in the very north of Canada as well as in Alaska. They also live in Greenland. In the last century, musk oxen were brought to Sweden and Norway, where they live to this day. And of course, quite a few musk oxen live in northern Russia. The main population resides on the Tamir Peninsula and Wrangel Island. These bulls also live in the polar Urals, in the north of Yakutia, and in the north of Magadan Oblast. In general, these creatures live in the Arctic, in very, very harsh conditions. But the conditions are no stranger to them. In the process of evolution, musk oxen have acquired a characteristic appearance, reflecting their adaptation to the harsh and cold living conditions. They have no protruding body parts, which is due to the need to reduce heat loss in cold climates. Also, as I said, they are helped by their long and dense fur. By the way, because it's very thick and long, 
musk oxen look much more massive than they actually are. Food You won't find much food in such harsh and remote places, but musk oxen don't complain. Sedge, lichen, moss, willow, and wild grasses form the basis of the diet of these herbivores. In the course of evolution, musk oxen have managed to adapt to the extremely scarce food lands of the Arctic. Because the Arctic summer lasts only a few weeks, musk oxen spend most of the year grazing on dry plants that they dig out from under the snow. Before rutting, musk oxen tend to visit natural solanetic soils during the snowless season, mostly in the summer months, to obtain macronutrients and micronutrients. Being the residents of the hilly Arctic tundra and polar deserts, musk oxen graze in the mountains in winter, where the wind blows the snow off the slopes, making it easier to find food. In summer, however, musk oxen usually move to places that are richest in food, such as river and lake valleys and low tundra. In winter, musk oxen spend most of their time sleeping or resting to digest the food they've eaten. During Arctic storms, musk oxen lie down with their backs to the wind and, unlike migrating reindeer, spend the winter staying in a small area. Musk oxen tolerate any frost well, but high snows are devastating to them. This is surprising because, at the same time, these animals are able to get food from under loose snow up to 50 centimeters deep. Live Musk oxen are herd animals. They have close social ties which are especially strong among young musk oxen and females with calves. Musk oxen almost always live in groups ranging from 10 to 20 individuals. Since females almost always live in groups, males do not create their harems but try to join and take over an existing group and expel young males from there. Since such groups are protected and maintained by the dominant male, they are considered harems. The newborn calf immediately becomes a member of the group and begins interacting with other herd members, maintaining various types of social contacts, including participation in social games, which are important elements of the herd life. A group of musk oxen is not just a herd that hangs around, it's a full-fledged collective where everyone can help each other. In spite of their weight and slowness, in times of danger, musk oxen quickly form a defensive formation, a kind of living wall. If things get really bad, musk oxen will gallop away. Surprisingly, these large creatures can reach speeds of 25 to 30 kilometers per hour and maintain it for several kilometers. But what creatures do they have to run away from? From other animals, of course. Don't forget that the Arctic is a very dangerous place, and the danger manifests itself not only in the frosts and winds but also in the many predators that live there. The main enemy of musk oxen is the wolf both gray and Alaskan tundra ones. Polar bears, as well as brown bears and wolverines, also pose problems to musk oxen. As I said previously, when a predator attacks, musk oxen line up defensively or run away. If escape is impossible and it's too late to form a defensive formation, musk oxen form a circle. When the predator approaches, one male of the herd attacks it and returns to the circle. Immediately, other members of the herd approach it. This method of defense is quite effective against all natural predators except one creature. Unfortunately, I'm talking about a human. It's probably the most dangerous enemy of the musk ox. This horned creature is able to defend itself against many predators and even to fight them back. For example, with a powerful blow of its horns, the musk ox can kill a wolf or even wound a bear. However, the musk ox is virtually powerless against humans. The living wall and the circle I spoke about are useless ways of self-defense. The herd, which stands in a circle and covers the young with its bodies, remains motionless when musk oxen are shot with a rifle. In the past, entire herds were easily destroyed in this way, which seriously affected the entire musk oxen population. The musk oxen are hunted for their soft and warm undercoat. From an adult and healthy animal, you can collect from two or more kilograms of undercoat which can then be sold for good money. The price for the musk ox undercoat ranges from $40 to $80 per 28 grams. That is, if things go well, the hunter can get several thousand dollars for the wool of just one animal. Also, musk oxen are of interest to the hunter because of their meat. As I said, it recalls musk. Such an unusual delicacy can be worth a lot of money. Unfortunately, although musk oxen are a protected species in the Arctic, 
hunting them is not fully prohibited. In the US, for example, a limited hunting for musk oxen is allowed. A similar plan is planned for Russia, where trophy hunting for these powerful animals of the Arctic still exists. Musk oxen need wide dispersal and full protection as a species. Although now the situation is not alarming, with such hunting and poaching rates, everything may change, and very soon, the animal that survived, even the mammoths themselves and the Ice Age, may disappear forever due to human fault. That's all, guys. Would you go to the Arctic to see musk oxen with your own eyes? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you later.